First of all, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa. Um, we uh, wanted to come out here and, and uh, Frank, come on up here. Yeah, come on up. And, and talk about the results of what has been a basically six month effort. Um, as many of you know, back in July, uh, we set about um, correcting some problems in the neighborhood that had been festering for years. Uh, to be proactive about it, to be aggressive about it, uh, to take the initiative to make sure that the quality of life and the people, for the people in every neighborhood, except for that dog. <laughs> and if that dog gets over the fence, Frank, all I have to do is outrun you. <laughs> it doesn't matter how slow I am. As long as I'm faster I'm, than I'm you, I'm good. <laughs> The, uh, I'm watching. Yeah, hey, guys, keep an eye on them. <laughs> um, that the quality of life for the people in every neighborhood was the same. And obviously, we had some folks in this community that weren't paying attention to the rules, uh, that weren't maintaining their properties, uh, largely absentee landlords, absentee owners. Um, and as a result of that, it was infecting neighborhoods all over the city. I mean, I've said from day one, once you have a house that's fallen into disrepair because the property owner is not maintaining it, it's like a cancer and spreads from house to house to house and block to block to block. And so we set aside about doing something about it. We uh, rebuilt and revamped the entire staff and they are, many of them are here today and they're doing an amazing job. We got new leadership in there. We got a new enthusiasm. We changed the way we do business. We added more people to the process. We added more money and resources to it. Uh, we went at this seven days a week uh, because we knew we had to attack it uh, in a very con concentrated fashion, in a comprehensive fashion. And so we're here today to sort of announce uh, the results of that. Much of the work has been done by the folks that you see here uh, in wearing the blue. They've, they're the ones that have been out there day to day, going street by street, house by house. They've been running the trucks to pick up the garbage. These folks are the ones that have made a difference in the neighborhoods. There we go. There we go. It's not, it's not me, it's the men and women that you see wearing the blue uniforms today under the leadership of Sal Ruggiero and Jake Slayer. And the end result is our neighborhoods are in better shape. Young people like this have a better chance at life, a better quality of life. Our community is better as a result of it. And those people that are trying to do the right thing, that are trying to raise their families, that are working hard every day, have a better existence. They're not going to be subjected to living next to a dump. We went after them, we went after them hard. The compliance was unbelievable, which is what you're gonna see in a second. The amount of trash that we've hauled out of these neighborhoods is unbelievable. I want our folks to know that this is a great Christmas for many neighbors and neighborhoods in this community. You guys did a bang up job. You should be very proud of that. Let me show you what the results are. Jake, you wanna hold on to that? Frank, I don't know if you can see this or not. Over 4,000 inspections. We opened 906 cases on 895 properties. 86.5% of the people have already brought their properties into compliance. That is an amazing number. All it took was a little touch from the city government, a recognition that we expect more out of them, and 86% of the people that were cited or that were notified have brought their properties into compliance. That means that there's a lot of neighborhoods who are better today because of this. 75% of all the cases that were open were brought into compliance. And overall, this is, think about this number. During the course of this, we picked up 80 tons, tons of trash that would be sitting out here on street corners, that would be empty couches and chairs that were dumped out there and left, that were alleys that were unattended. 80 tons of garbage has been hauled out of some of our neighborhoods. So neighborhoods like this and this neighborhood president and folks who live in these neighborhoods now have a much better life. Great job, job well done. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to the neighborhoods of Tampa, Florida. You guys are the elves and the Santa Clauses that made it happen. Thanks to all of you. That's a big number and that's a number that we are all proud of. All right. okay. Frank, you want, you want to say something? Let me just uh, be brief and just say I want to thank the mayor and, and, and thank Jake and his team for uh, getting this community clean. 
I mean, if you travel through here uh, before this happened, everywhere you go on each corner, you, you will see the mattress out there on the corner. You will, you will see people throwing old TVs, and, and it was just deplorable. So you've done a wonderful job. I echo what the mayor have stated, and uh, I'm just proud to be able to come through this community. I was out here on Saturday, and, um, and I just felt good coming through here and seeing that this community is cleaned up. And so we need to just keep it this way. And so I thank the mayor and, 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 and Jake and his team, and thank all of you for making this day possible. Thank you. Hi, my name is Desmond Key. I'm the president of Grand Park Civic Association. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out. Um, you guys have no idea how much you've uh, impressed on the lives of the kids and the adults in this community. The homeowners in this community who invested in these houses 30 years ago, 20 years ago, can finally now start to see their home value raised. This is a great, great Christmas gift to them. Uh, we ask that you guys continue to do the great job that you've, do that you've been doing up until this point. Uh, economics plays a big part in how we view our lives, whether we're citizens or whether we're employees of the city. And as a result, you guys have increased the economical value of, the how of this community, and you've also incre increased the self-worthiness of the children and the adults. So once again, thank you. We appreciate you, and we look forward to working with you guys in the future.